Well, I know he died in a pretty violent way. 30-year-old Romari Kenneth Steiger was on his way to his mom's house when his family tells us he was hit and killed on the freeway by a wrong way driver. He was staying with me and my mother for a little bit, and he thought he had forgot his pillow, so he just came back to come get it, and we never seen him. I, he said he was coming, and we never seen him come through the door. At 3.22 in the morning Sunday, DPS says they started getting calls about a wrong way driver heading westbound in the eastbound lanes at the tunnel on I-10. The crash happened two minutes later on I-10 and 19th Avenue. I just hope he didn't feel no pain, and then the, for the fact about the, the wrong way driver, like, I, I just don't think it's worth it. Like, if you're drunk, you know, you could always sleep in your car, ask a friend, spend a night. Just chill, because, like, you don't know, you don't know who you're taking away. Both cars burst into flames. The driver of the car going the wrong way was also killed. Detectives haven't released that person's name yet, only saying he was a 25-year-old from Texas. It's not clear yet if he was impaired. Steiger's family says all they're left with are memories. He was a spirit that couldn't be contained. He was a definitely said what was on his mind. He didn't really care what anybody had to say, so he just let it out, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I liked about him. Steiger was a loving father and son, and his family will remember him as a man with a big heart. He really loved his son. That's all he would talk about. So it sucks that his son's not even going to get to know him, but yeah, that's just the crazy part of life. Now, DPS tell me, tells me it doesn't know if the driver got on the freeway going the wrong way or if it changed directions once it was already on. And that's because the thermal cameras and sensors installed on the ramps did not go off or activate when that driver was on the freeway. So if you would like to help the family involved in this crash, we have that information on our AZ Family app and website. Reporting live in Phoenix tonight, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family. Alexis, thank you.